Hi, I'm Malcolm Turnbull. I'm the Communications Minister. I'm here at the ANU at the National Computational Infrastructure, the home of Australia's largest, most powerful supercomputer. And I'm with here with Stuart Minchin, who's the Chief of the Environmental Geosciences Division of Geoscience Australia. Now, Stuart, tell us about what this computer, this supercomputer, is doing for you, how it's changing, you said earlier, revolutionising your work. Mm. Yeah, thanks, Malcolm. Um, look, we've been collecting uh, in Australia satellite images across the whole continent for the last uh, 35 years, since 1979. Those satellite images um, are a record, if you like, of how the continent has changed, where the water has been, how the, the vegetation has progressed across Australia. But we haven't been making the best use of that information for many years because it's been very difficult to manage the volume of, of data that we're dealing with and to extract the information that we require from that data. Um, how fine a detail is it? How, how, how small are, your, is the, are the bits of land that you can uh, yeah. identify? Well, we're using primarily the Landsat series of satellites, and that gives us a footprint of about 25 metres. So, you know, the size of a, a, a garden, effectively. So we can actually um, uh, measure anywhere in Australia down to about that 25 metre resolution. And because we're able to use the supercomputer in this way, we can actually look back through time over that entire period back to 1979 and do scientific analysis of water, uh, of vegetation change, of um, urban prog progression, and we can actually look at any point in Australia and see how it's changed over that period in time. And that, that enables you to uh, work out whether environmental policies are working or not working, what the yep. impact of climate change is, all of those factors over that uh, 35 years. Yeah, absolutely, and it provides an objective measure of, of those changes that allows us to then uh, calibrate models um, to look at, um, for example, uh, flood risk uh, for, for people that uh, perhaps are not covered by current flood studies. Um, and uh, being able to actually look at that change over time is, is extremely powerful and provides a baseline also into the future. Yeah, now you've got to adjust your, your um, model uh, slightly because Australia's on the move. Yeah. Uh, just tell us about that. Absolutely. Well, the whole Australian continent is moving north at uh, around six centimetres a year. So not, not very fast, but enough when you start looking through 35 years of information. The, the place that you're looking at, that 25 metre pixel, is actually moving and over the last 35 years has moved about two metres. So you actually have to correct all of the imagery for the continental drift in it to enable and to make sure that you're looking at exactly the same place in Australia. Mm, great. Well, it's wonderful that you're able to do that. Mm. The, what other uses are you as Geoscience Australia making of this supercomputer? Look, the, uh, the facility of, uh, of the NCI is incredibly useful to us in a whole range of areas. Traditional computational analysis, so we're using it to, to model um, larval dispersal of uh, marine larvae, uh, for example, as, as one use. Uh, we're looking at uh, three-dimensional fluid flow in, in rocks, uh, so for oil and gas. Um, groundwater analysis. Um, we're using it to, uh, to in this um, earth observation sphere of, of satellite imagery to build this data cube but also to run new analyses on this, this um, cube of, of information that we've built uh, of satellite imagery. So while I've, I've used water as an example we're also applying it to things like uh, crop vigour um, to look at um, groundwater um, uh, locations and impacts and uh, potentially for, as you mentioned, for forest cover change and, and tracking of carbon. And big data for a big country. Big data for a big country and we couldn't do it without this facility where we're able to bring the big data together with the high performance computing and have them co-located in the one place. And Fantastic Stuart, thank you right. very much. Thanks.